Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamir and in today's video I'm sharing somewhat of a prophetic word, a Bible study um, that the Lord has placed on my heart to share and it is very encouraging and really touched me so I know it's going to touch somebody else. But it's coming from Luke 9 and sometimes the Lord will have me um, Bible study over something I've studied over before and show it to me in a completely different light and that is what he did on um, tonight um and i'm just gonna go ahead and read i'm gonna read um the verses in luke 9 that we will be going over today i'm gonna start at one one day jesus called together his 12 disciples no actually i'm going to start at 11 9 and 11 and this is 9 and 10. I'm sorry, y'all, 9 and 10. When the apostles returned, they told Jesus everything they had done. Then he slipped quietly away from them towards the town of Bethsaida. But the crowds found out where he was going and they followed him. He welcomed them and taught them about the kingdom of God and healed those who were sick. Okay, so Jesus, he did go to be alone. The crowds followed him, but even though he was going to be alone, we all need alone time sometimes. So even though God, Jesus was going to be alone and the crowds found him and followed him, he still welcomed them. And what we're going to go over today is the benefits of following Jesus. Okay, so now we are going to skip down. Well, we're just going to pick up at 12 and read down to um, 17. Late in the afternoon, the 12 disciples came to him and said, Send the crowds away to the nearby villages and farms so they can find food and lodging for the night. There is nothing to eat here in this remote place. But Jesus said, You feed them. But we only have five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Or are you expecting us to go and buy enough food for this whole crowd? For there were more than 5,000 men there. Jesus replied, tell them to sit down in groups of about 50 each. So the people all sat down. Jesus took the five loaves and two fish, looked up towards heaven and blessed them. Then breaking the loaves into pieces, he kept giving the bread and fish to the disciples so they could distribute it to the people. They all ate as much as they wanted, and afterward, the disciples picked up 12 baskets of leftovers. And the word that, you know, God gave to me, the Holy Spirit gave to me tonight is, your leftovers is going to be more than what you started with. Is that amazing? Your leftovers. You're going to have more leftover than what you started with. These are the benefits of following Jesus. He blessed the food. These are the blessings of the Lord. Your leftovers will be more than what you started with. And I received that word. I know that was a word for me. And test the spirit, pray, and talk to God. And if that's if he lets you know this is a word for you, go ahead and receive that word, okay? Your leftovers will be more than what you started with. And now I'm just going to write down some notes that I took down. And I'm going to end this video. It's not going to be long at all. Um, it says, in the blessing, in the miracle, they ended up with more leftovers than they started with. And I already said that, you know, with following Jesus, when he blessed your life, you end up with more left over than you started with more left over after you done took care of business you know everybody ate and got full that's that's just amazing to me more left over than you started with i wrote down this note for myself follow, personally i wrote follow jesus to mary he will welcome you things won't always be perfect it won't always be easy, but when you follow Jesus, your leftovers will be more than what you started with. And that's the reason why I started at 9 and 11, because even though Jesus went to be alone, when the crowds came to him, he welcomed them. He allowed them to follow him. He didn't send them away. 
and then he blessed them for following them. You see, the first thing he did was he healed the sick. That's what it says. He taught them about the kingdom of God, and then he healed the sick. Later on, he performed the miracle of the five loaves and two fish. And they ended up with more leftovers than they started with. And then I just got an urge to look up the number seven, five, and two. And um, biblically, the number seven represents perfection and completion. And how this um, penetrated in my heart was what you have is enough. The gifts, the talents, what God has put inside of you is enough. You don't need to reach out to any other resource other than him. He gave you enough. He gave you enough to bless. What he put in the inside of you is enough for him to bless. So let's follow him. Let's trust him. Let's include him so that he can bless our lives. Let's trust him that what he gave us is enough. The five loaves and two fish, it was enough. So, yeah. I'm sorry if this is all over the place, but I just want to say, you know, the God we serve is a way maker and a miracle worker. What he has given you is enough. Trust him, include him, follow him. There's blessings, there's benefits that come with following him. So follow him, trust him, and know in your heart and believe and receive this word. What? receive the word your leftovers is going to be more than what you started with okay guys god bless i love y'all bye